seeing these people are, are true. evil. I'm asking yeah. myself, who Adam you... Goldman of the New York Times, evil. Uh, you, 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 we've got to stop playing these games. This is a guy who got privileged legal communications under the United States Constitution and our laws and norms. You do. You have a right to legal counsel. And the guy at the New York Times gleefully published this from a rival organization. Why? They want this country to burn. They want power and they will get it by any means necessary. And they will use the power of the federal government to do it. I am looking at all of you right now and I am telling you this. The police will kick your door in and bash your teeth out the moment Black Lives matter protests you. We've already seen it happen. You think this is a joke? James O'Keefe's legal privileged communications were just given to the New York Times and Adam Goldman with a smile on his face published it. He doesn't care about this country. He doesn't care about our norms. These people are at war with you and they will burn your life to the ground like they're doing to Rittenhouse and like they're doing now to James O'Keefe because you dare oppose their power grab. This is yeah. not a joke, and it is getting worse. And in the next 10 years, as we enter the fourth turning and it escalates, it is going to get worse. James O'Keefe is a journalist. The federal government stole his privileged legal communications and gave it to the New York Times, who published it with a smile on their faces. These people do not hold your values. They do not believe in the Constitution. The prosecutor in the Rittenhouse case violated the Constitution. They will do it again. They will do it more. And they will burn down your town. And the feds will protect them. And the police will protect them. Stop thinking the institutions are on your side. This country is being corrupted. And we are watching it every day. And it has gotten to the point where you need to ask yourself, Will the police protect you when someone comes to your town and threatens to kill you? No. The detectives in Kenosha, the state, the prosecutor went against the, the young man who was fleeing for his life. And James O'Keefe, an anti-establishment individual, and I, and I mean that with respect, but he is outright just a journalist, is facing the boot of the authoritarian fascist government. And it will get worse and it will happen to you because you keep complying and you keep saying, but my kids need food and now inflation is here and there's food shortages and your kids aren't eating and the schools are indoctrinating your kids. Now we see a turnaround with Youngkin because the parents are standing up. But too many people keep saying, as long as I keep filleting the state and dropping on my knees for the far left extremists, I will squeak by and you will not. The police will come to your home. They will kick your door in and they will arrest you because the good cops have already started quitting. And like we saw in Seattle, the police arrested the man who was retreating from Antifa as Antifa approached him with clubs in hand and they apologized to Antifa over it. Like we saw in the Chaz, when, two, when, when several men unloaded hundreds of rounds into an SUV and then the extremists stripped the evidence from the vehicle and none of those people are brought to justice. And now we are at the point where Project Veritas is having their private, privileged, legal communications leaked to the, to the New York Times, who with a smile on their face violate all norms, all respect, and lack all scruples. And you think sitting back and complying will result in you getting by. You are wrong. I'm sick of this. Preach.